So this is gonna be a really quick run through on how to set up animate diff CLI prompt travel. Uh, we're gonna to navigate to the repo, which I will link below in the description. We're gonna scroll down to the installation instructions. <laughs> and then uh, we're gonna copy this command here. So git clone, we wanna copy the repo. So go to the directory where you want the project to be built. You're gonna go into the address bar here. You're gonna type CMD. That's gonna open up your terminal. And inside your terminal, you're just gonna copy paste that command. So that's git cloning and the repo address. That's making it set whatever's inside this repo is now in our computer. So now that we have the repo copied into our directory, as you can see, we're gonna navigate into it, but we also have to navigate into it from the command line. So to do that, we're just gonna CD animate diff, the name of the repo pretty much, or the directory. But to finish that off, you can just press tab as a quick shortcut. Now the next thing in the instructions is to create a virtual environment. This command doesn't work, but we're gonna do something similar, which will be Python dash M B E N V B E N V. So it's just about the same, but he was just implying that the version of Python you need is 3.10. So make sure you have that installed. It's done. Now we wanna activate our virtual environment. So we do B E N V uh, scripts slash activate. And now our virtual environment is activated as you can see from here. The next thing we wanna do is just start copying these commands. Now I will warn you beforehand that these, some of these do take quite a long time to install depending on your internet connection, especially when you run the project for the first time. Oh my God, it takes forever. I mean that. So we'll just give this a quick minute to finish installing and then we'll proceed. I would be so pissed off if I wasn't recording. <laughs> Ah, uh, we're good though. All right, so now that that's done, we're just gonna go on to the next command, which is python pip install dash e dot. So paste, enter. Wait for that to install as well. Give it its minute. And now that that's done, we're gonna install xformers. As far as the stylized command, that's not necessary for what we're doing. So I'm not going to keep it as part of this tutorial. But if you guys are interested in that side of the application, let me know and I'll do some tutorials on that as well. This is just going to be a basic uh, prompting tutorial. So now that we have all that installed, the next thing that we're going to do is start putting some files that are necessary in their appropriate places. But now I want to preface that with the fact that some of this stuff you're going to have to go to certain pages to download i already have them downloaded and sorted out in my uh, tutorials folder here but the um, motion modules you can go to the animate diff repo the actual original repo and you can find all kinds of stuff there like the motion lauras which i won't be covering in this video as well as the original uh, motion modules the modules can be downloaded from where are they from any one of these three links, so Civit AI, Hugging Face, or Google Drive, you would just click the link, it would open to the appropriate space, and then you have access to the models. I'm not gonna download them again because I already have them downloaded, so there's no reason. Um, and the, the model itself, you can get from Civit AI. I already have it downloaded, so again, I'm not gonna download it again. Um, so, open a new window, so and open a new window. So if these two things open, you want to make sure that you go to the proper places to place them, which is inside of data. You would go to models, SD, and this is where you're going to drop whatever model you're using for um, generation, so your checkpoint. And your motion modules, you want to drop them inside the motion module folder. Again, this was inside the, the main directory, animate div CLI prompt travel, inside the data folder, inside the models folder. We can technically start running the, the, the application, but what we need to do is add in um, our prompt. So our prompt, I have an example prompt that I'm gonna supply with the video. 
This way you can get started and it has some basic things that allow you to make some pretty cool stuff but not get like jarred by how much there is because if you look at the example, there really is a lot that this thing can do. But first, you know, put your feet in the water and you'll see how much you can already make before you even start diving into all the control net stuff. You want to drop this prompt.json inside of, or I'll do it in an easier way to visualize. You want to take the prompt.json file and you want to drop it inside of config inside prompts. So you could also use any of these supplied prompts. Some of them are like super basic, like beyond, it's not really useful. It doesn't incorporate the new prompt travel features. And then the ones that do incorporate prompt travel are kind of, they're really jarring. So uh, yeah, so now that we drop that JSON file in there, remember again, I will be supplying that with the video. We can head back to our terminal where we have our project going. So for now, to run our software, we would just animate diff generate dash C and pass in the path for where, pass in the path for where we placed our um, JSON file. So notice um, if I, Go to animate div CLI prompt travel inside config, inside prompts, and our prompt file is right here. And notice that that's what we just passed in. We went generate dash C config, config, prompts, prompts, and prompts or prompt.json, which is right there. So the next thing up is we're going to pass the width information and the height information. So width will be 256 to start just to keep it quick and height which will be 384 and the length of the animation which is going to be 128 frames and then 16. all right so that's our prompt animate diff generate dash c config prompts prompt.json we include our width we include our height our length and then that last factor the context of frames so the next thing um, I want to do before I run this is just overview the prompts.json file to make it a little bit easier to understand what's going on so inside the prompts.json file it's a uh, pretty straightforward the first thing we're gonna do is pass the path to our model which we already passed in to the proper place if you go to data models SD we have our uh, model there so this is assuming that you use the same model as me if you use a different model make sure you change the name of your model up here so you would just literally copy the name of whatever your model is um, just paste it there and that should be fine um, you would select your motion module which we're going to start off with v2 which we also pass into the appropriate place so that's motion model V2 and notice that it's models SD and the checkpoint and models motion module and the checkpoint for our motion module. So this is our seed. If you want random seeds per generation, you can put negative one. I'm just gonna leave it on the selected seed for now. If you're using stable diffusion and you're getting into anime diff, I imagine you already know all that. So that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. So now you have your head prompt, your prompt map, your tail prompt, and your negative prompt. Your tail prompt, prompt map, and head prompt are essentially all together in the sense that each section of the prompt map has a frame, right? So zero, the zero frame, the 16 frame, the 13 frame, 48 frame, so on and so forth. For the zero frame, the prompt is gonna be photo of a ginger woman detailed eyes, blue eyes, upper body angry, followed by your tail prompt, which there is nothing in my tail prompt. Prompt for the 16th frame is gonna be photo of a ginger woman, detailed eyes, blue eyes, upper body smile from above, and then whatever is in your tail prompt. The prompt for the 32nd frame is gonna be photo of a ginger woman, detailed eyes, blue eyes, upper body angry from side, and your tail prompt, et cetera, et cetera. 
and all of them will also have the negative prompt as well. So the negative prompt is going to be carried over for each one. As far as LoRa maps, I did not add LoRa's to this example. As far as motion LoRa maps, I did not add any IP, none, etc. because the whole point of this is to just get you up and running as a beginner. If once you understand what's going on here, the rest of it starts to become fairly straightforward, but I will be making tutorials on that as well. It's just beyond the scope of this video. So now that that's all explained, I'm going to actually do a run so we can see what happens. Before I do though, there's an output section here all the way at the bottom. This is where you can change your format to be a WebM video, MP4, or just a GIF, as well as change you know, your fr uh, frames per second, which I'm going to keep at 12 for now. So again, our command to run is animate diff, generate. We're going to pass the config file, which we put in config prompts, prompts.json, and our width, our height, our length, and the context. So it's saying that no module named uh, onx runtime is found. That's a simple fix. You just do pip install, copy the name of that, or I'll just type it rather. And we'll run our command again. No module named pandas. So again, pip install and again looks like everything is running at this point so as that's running I'll tell you where you can find the output to find the output You'll head back to the main directory, animate diff CLI prompt travel, go to output, and there's already a folder of where it's generating. Currently, the image and the video haven't been fully processed, so they're not there yet. As this uh, progress bar completes, once it's at 100%, that's when those files will drop into the actual section. So just give it some time. So as you can see, our uh, frames just dropped in as well as the video file. Now this is at a slower, uh, or not slower, a lower resolution. That's why it looks the way it does, but we can also increase the resolution in regards to the limitations of the hardware you have, obviously. So to do that, let's take our same command. So animate diff generate, we pass the config. We're literally using the exact same command except our width. We're going to put it to 512 and our height. We're going to put it to 768, which is just double of what was there. That's all that is. This will take longer to generate. And by longer, I mean a lot longer. So as you saw prior, it was about a minute per generation. Now it's going to be about four minutes per generation. I am running RTX 4090 though. So obviously it's going to be a lot faster on that compared to some other cards. But regardless, it takes a long time especially when using the refiner step, which will be the last part of this video. All right, so our generation is done. Again, inside the output folder, we see it's dropped our frames in. Oh, thank God, I thought it was MSFW. <laughs> anyway, um, and this one looks like it's gonna be dope. It's just processing the video by putting the frames together. It's using FFmpeg here. And boom. All right. So video. So this is the quickest run through possible on how to get the basics of it up and running. There is one more thing I'd like to talk about though, um, which is refinement. In order to refine, we use a different command, which is um, 
So first, let's make sure we have our directory there. So we're going to do animate diff refine, and you're going to give it the um, the path to your directory. So I'm doing shift right click, copy as path, and then you can just paste that in. And the last thing you have to do is give it context as to how much you want it to upscale by. Uh, we generated with a width of 512, so I'm just going to upscale to 768. Upscaling on this is very long, like it takes a lot, I'm not going to lie, a very long time and a lot of VRAM, so, or a lot of, a lot of resources, so, you know, be weary of that. So now that that's up and running, <clears throat> pardon, now that that's up and running, note like it will take a while like on a the 4090 it takes about 10 15 minutes like right now it's projecting a time of 13 minutes that's this uh the blue section here so if you're thinking a smaller resolution to test that's one minute not including each time for iteration plus uh, your your higher resolution generation that's about four minutes plus not you know at each iteration that you use to figure it out and then the upscaling that's about 15 minutes so you're looking at if in a perfect world where each one worked out perfect for you you're looking at around 20 minutes per generation if you use the refiner you don't always have to use the refiner because as you can see from the first output i think the first output looks pretty good like i would be perfectly fine running this through topaz uh, but the refiner in some cases does make things look a lot better, especially with um, further distances where, you know, you have the full body of the character and the face kind of gets distorted a bit, especially with um, more animated models like Toon U or Miss Toon, etc. Um, but last thing, so the outputs for the refiner are not in the output folder. You would have to go back to the main directory for the project, animate div CLI prompt travel, and it's inside the refine folder. As you can see from here, um, the output is not there yet though. So. so the refiner finally finished. Um, I don't like the way the output came out at all. It added like lots of blemishes to the skin, which I guess if you're looking for that kind of thing, it's good, but. I don't know, I didn't like it. Um, I do kind of like the way it adds some age to the face. I'll admit that. That's really cool. And something to think about to use it artistically. Um, but yeah, that's been a quick run through on Anime Diff uh, CLI Prom Travel. Uh, I will be including some links down below so that you know where to download your models so that uh, you have the prompt example and uh, in the future I may make some more tutorials allowing you to understand more of these other aspects of it but um, yeah that's it blessings